Hello, today we're going to be taking a look at the scientific evidence for how Moringa might be able to fight cancer. Moringa is a small, fast-growing tree native to Asia and Africa. Its leaves, flowers, seed pods, and roots are used in traditional medicine to treat conditions including asthma, diabetes, ulcers, infections, and cancer. Moringa leaves and seeds are ground to make a powder. The powder can be made into capsules and tablets, or you can mix Moringa powder with liquids and drink it. Cancer is a disease in which some of the body cells grow uncontrollably and spread to other parts of the body. It's a complex process and certain compounds in our foods can inhibit this uncontrollable growth or even kill the cancer cells. While there have been some promising results for using Moringa as an anti-cancer agent, most studies on Moringa and cancer have been on petri dish or animal studies Without enough human studies, it is difficult to make actual recommendations on consuming Moringa, especially since it is a tree and not something that we commonly use in cooking. In a 2020 research article published in Frontiers in Pharmacology, researchers found that Moringa inhibited the proliferation of prostate cancer cells and induced apoptosis and cell cycle arrest. Furthermore, Moringa suppressed cancer cell migration and inhibited metastasis. A 2016 article showed that Moringa had an anti-cancer effect on human cancer cell lines. In a 2017 article, researchers found that Moringa root rather than the leaves were more effective in inducing cancer cell death. In a 2015 study, researchers found that both the leaf and bark extracts of Moringa possess anti-cancer activity that can be used to develop new drugs for treatment of breast and colorectal cancers. In a 2021 study published in the journal Nutrients, researchers found that Moringa supplementation alone did induce angiogenesis in tumors, but when used in combination with chemotherapy, it actually worsened tumor progression. Therefore, caution should be taken when considering the consumption of Moringa seed extracts while receiving chemotherapy for cancer treatment. In a recent 2022 review article, researchers concluded that there is strong potential for Moringa to be used as an anti-cancer agent. Also, they found Moringa to be safe and that doses up to 2,000 mg had no harmful effects. Some of the claims online touting Moringa as a miracle tree are based on a high dose that would be difficult for us to consume in food. Most of the comparisons to other foods, for example, the claim that Moringa has 12 times the vitamin C of an orange is based on a 100 gram Moringa powder dose. 100 grams of orange is essentially one small orange, but 100 grams of Moringa tree powder would be 14 tablespoons. It's quite bitter, so researchers had trouble getting people to eat even three tablespoons per day. Therefore, if you base the comparison on a more manageable dose, like one tablespoon of Moringa powder, then Moringa actually has less vitamins and minerals than common foods like oranges, carrots, bananas, broccoli, etc.
If you're on medications or are pregnant, definitely consult your doctor before taking Moringa. However, studies do appear to show that it is relatively safe and quite healthy to consume, especially in reasonable doses. So putting a teaspoon in your smoothie once in a while appears to be a positive thing to do. I hope you found the information in this video useful. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.